Hey guys, so we're fixing to come into Mount Dora. We're in the Dora Canal right now. We're gonna run up to Mount Dora. We're gonna show you some local businesses. Why is that important to us? Because we live here, we work here, we love it here. This is a community built on hard work and people here. And this is a really good destination for people to come to. And we wanna show you some of those special places. We're super excited. We're born and raised right here in Lake County. The Chain of Lakes is definitely where our heartbeat of the county is. And we're gonna show you all around. We're gonna start in Mount Dora, so come along. We'll show you what it's like to live right here in Lake County. All right, this is Boathouse Row. We're on Lake Dora in Mount Dora, right outside of, well, right in downtown Mount Dora. Um, these houses are super rare. It's really difficult to purchase a house here because nobody wants to sell them. You can no longer live on the water like this. So if somebody were to purchase something, they're usually gonna get one of these smaller places and redo them, and that's kind of what's happened around here on Boathouse Row. So for us locals, this is kind of the place we always wanna be, but can never get to. As you can see, they kind of are coming in and fixing them up and making them, they're really beautiful um, places to live right here on Lake Dora, but they're really difficult to, to purchase for somebody who's looking for a home like this. This purple That's house it. right here, if you actually go up on it, it looks like it's from something you'd see in downtown, like New Orleans or something. It is actually owned by Frank Sinatra's family. It is for sale, right on the lake. We run a podcast. It's called The Real LLC for Lake Life and Culture in Lake County. Um, my brother and family own Jesus Roofing, so we talk a lot about business. I hear that all the time, yeah. yeah. Everybody loves them. On Old Mount Road. Well, this is the Rusty Anchor Boat Tours. We have three boats. There's another one just like this. And we do boat tours 365 days a year on the Door Chain of Lakes, on the Harris Chain of Lakes. And, uh, the, the famous one is the Door Canal Tour, which can only be viewed by boat. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a breathtaking mile and a quarter of bald cypress swamp. And that's where you just see all of the beautiful wildlife. And it's just a wonderful experience. Back in the late 1800s, steamboats came through the Door Canal. And they actually used to go visit the Lake uh, Fried Inn, which is the oldest continuously operating inn in the state of Florida. Um, and steamboats actually navigated those waterways back in the early 18, late 1800s, actually. Um, and you'll learn a lot about that on the tours. They give you extensive um, history about the local area, including Boathouse Row, which also is, dates back to the late 1800s, early 1900s. Hey guys, we're here at Shadrack's down here in Mount Dora, Florida. You gotta check this place out. It's great pizza. We're gonna take you around and show you what's here. I love Shadrack's because you can dock your boat right on Lake Dora in downtown. Walk up here, grab some pizza, grab some good salads, be in downtown Mount Dora, have your family, and we're gonna show you around, so let's go. Let's go. Hey man, this food is amazing. What makes it so special? Why is it so delicious to eat here? Honestly, it's all the oven. The oven? It, yeah, it really is. Uh, the The fire gives a, a quality that you can't you can't recreate with gas. You can't 
even gas assisted wood fired stuff it's just different yeah you just can kind of taste it in like the breads you know like when mm -hmm. you eat the pizza or yeah. like the bread you can taste that fire burnt taste to it yeah. super good exactly and besides a steam table that we use to keep the marinara warm that's our only method of cooking so everything like our roasted peppers everything has touched that up and, and, and it's a little bit you know imbued with it what made you pick Mount Dora as a place to have your business so we're from the area. I'm actually, like, we're from Eustis. We were, I was raised here, and, and we always came up into it. We actually got the name Shadrachs because we were coming up in the church parking lot up the, up the hill over there, and one of the church ladies was like, oh, there's a story with a furnace. And we're like, okay, <laughs> that's it. Guess we decided, you know? So, so we're, we're kind of, our story is woven with the area, and especially with Orlando and with the, the scene for music festivals and art shows and stuff that's how we kind of came up and stuff but it, it was always kind of a pipe dream to come to mount dora So this is Lakeside Inn. It's supposedly super haunted. They have ghost tours here, um, which I've been on, which are pretty cool. Hey guys, we're at the Lakeside Inn, a really, really iconic place here in Mount Dora. Brittany, tell us a little bit about it. I love the Lakeside Inn. It is the oldest running hotel in the state of Florida. We can't wait to tell you more about it, so we're going inside to meet Virginia. Let's go. All right, cool, let's go. Tell us a little bit about this hotel. I hear it's pretty old. Yes, yeah, so 140 years this year. This is the oldest continuously operated hotel in Florida. So we've been going strong since 1883. Wow, so cool. that's amazing. There's some pretty iconic people that stayed here. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, uh, former president Calvin Coolidge stayed here after his presidency in room 619. And if you want, I'd be happy to show you the room. Oh, heck yeah. Oh yeah, let's check it out. Let's <laughs> awesome. try it. Great. Thank you. So this is unique. I guess this is something we want to know about if we're going to stay in room, what, 7619? Correct. This is actually a picture of the president. This is one of his check-in cards and a little bit of information about it. Yeah, absolutely. And there's another portrait inside the room as well. Ooh, it's all the art. Check it out. Okay, we saw the bar, we've seen the lake, we've seen the pool, we've got another bar inside of here. What's really unique is the people of Lake County love to come here, but I think there's a much broader crowd that could really benefit from this location. What are some people that could come here, maybe from out of town? Like, what are some of those benefits? Absolutely, we have people from all over the country and the world. We're only 45 minutes from Orlando International Airport, so very drivable uh, from the airport. And um, we also, in addition to our bar, have a fine dining restaurant here on site. People can have breakfast on the veranda or have a nice meal in our Beauclair dining room. So I think if you're looking for that hometown feel, you want to get out of that winter weather, like something a little bit more. Or even just a lot of history. history History, yeah. There's tons of stuff to do right here in Mount Dora. You can stay here, you can walk there. You don't have to worry about driving. And then you can also go by boat too. So there's so many unique things here, but mainly getting out of that cold winter weather, you can come here to Florida, get that small hometown feel and some good food too.
All right, guys, another cool stop right here in Mount Dora. Tell us about it. This is a really cool place. It's one of my favorite places to pop in and shop and grab a little few things, gifts or whatever. Uh, it's called Papillos, but they also have a little kind of bar outside where you can grab some drinks and you can walk around downtown Mount Dora. So come along. Check it out. So cool. Hey guys, so we're inside. This is a really unique place. It's got a couple different rooms in it, all kinds of things that you can buy for your home, but we definitely trekked up the mountain here in Mount Dora. So we're gonna show you through this store. Brittany, tell us a little bit what this you got here. This is one of my favorite stores in downtown Mount Dora. It has plants, it has things you can pick up for gifts or little thank yous or whatever. And so we are here talking to the owner, telling us a little bit about it. Hey guys, uh, yes, yeah, so we are a uh, plant inspired nature gift shop. So we sell uh, nature related gifts as well as lots of house plants. We also have a wine uh, bar so you can sort of sip and shop. We have a jeweler and a makeup artist. So it's sort of one uh, stop shopping for all your needs. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna hide this video from my wife. I don't want her in the store. I can see this would be a place that she would come very often, especially if she sits at the bar and then shops. This is such a cool place. So even if you're strolling downtown, you can grab a drink from their little bar right here or stroll right in and see what they got to offer. So we hope you guys check it out like we love it. All right guys, we're here at the bar. We got to check out the store. Now we get to check out the bar. This is really, really cool. So you can drink, shop, and then when the shop's closed, you can keep on drinking. Yeah, and I and see some happy hours. Mm -hmm. And buying plants too. Don't forget, you get drunk first, okay. and then you buy plants. <laughs> That's why we're here. But yeah guys, so every day, happy hour from three to six. You can get some beers for $3. You can get a one based, what is it, margarita for $5. Sorry, uh, what else? Is that the happy hour? There's more going on. Oh. Yes. You get 10% of the beers on tap. Okay. Uh, what else? You can get a picture with a bartender. <laughs> uh, <laughs>